Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy. Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Hope you're staying warm on this Wednesday. It was another chilly start to the day. We start up there in Logan where temperatures are still in the 30s while other locations along the Wasatch Front hitting the low to mid 40s right now. We did see some additional snow flurries and snow showers, not just in Cache Valley, but along the Wasatch Front. We still have that snow in the north. Sunnier conditions in the central and southern portion of the state, but are unseasonably cold temperatures. Well, they have a grip on the Great Basin and they have the last couple of days. I'll tell you when that's going to change and we're going to stay unsettled when it comes to moisture. I will explain why and show you the best chance who will see it. This would look like Parley's this morning. What a mess. That snow coming down with cold temperatures, definitely bringing in the road slush and drivers having to really slow it down. Not a surprise. We knew that we would see a burst of snow for the morning commute and the showers to continue. Satellite radar shows us that activity in the northern half of our state. You can see two systems in the west. Those are going to keep us active. Cloud cover still out there. We have showers all the way down through Provo. Eastern side of the state getting a little bit of popcorn, but you can see how central and southern Utah, the southern half of the state, dealing with clearer conditions. Temperatures, though, in those areas still below average. Taking a look at where those showers have been in the last hour, Utah County towards Provo, over the mountains, as well as towards Weber County as we zoom on in. Now over the high country, Cache Valley has seen some pockets, and Park Valley in the northwestern corner of the state seeing a little bit of activity at this hour. In Salt Lake, it's 44 degrees, running way below average. Typically this time of year, we're in the low 60s. And we're going to stay in the 40s for the next several hours, unsettled and breezy at times. We still have that chilly breeze coming from the northwest. Makes a difference. It's becoming a little more westerly, but we know it's chilly out there. We've got another system off the Pacific Northwest Coast. That area of low pressure will keep things very unsettled, not just in the Pacific Northwest, but in the Intermountain West as well. As temperatures warm, we get mixed precipitation showing up. So we're going to step away from straight snow and mix in some rain in the valleys with that snow, so that sloppy wintry mix. We still have cold temperatures expected tonight on the eastern side of the state with freeze warnings in effect for the basin, Grand County, and the Four Corners area. Temperatures getting down to the mid-20s tonight. It was low 20s last night. All right, so southern half of the state, dry conditions, but as we head into tonight, some isolated snow will be there. Tomorrow, another disturbance will keep us active in northern Utah. Again, mix of rain and snow, which you see not just over the mountains, but it will be sunnier in the southern half of the state, unsettled even as we get into Friday. Slight wet weather chance in the north. Cloud cover hangs around to close out the week. Temperatures will get a little closer to average. 40s and 50s for tomorrow. Still below average, but warmer than where we've been. 65 in Moab, 58 in Cedar. In the 70s, come back to St. George. What a relief. Yesterday it was 50s. Today it's the 60s. A little bit of a break there. That warming trend taking over through the weekend. Dry conditions. The winds will be the weather headline in the south where we'll get windy to breezy conditions for the next seven days. The Wasatch Front starting to space out the activity that we're seeing. Snow showers and a mix of rain and snow for tomorrow. Chance on Friday, and then the weekend does bring a slight chance of a little more moisture. Temperatures cool on Sunday, then bounce right back heading into next week. 60s sound nice, especially after we've been sitting in the 30s for the last couple of days. To stay on top of the forecast, download that ABC4 weather app. You take a picture of the QR code right there on your screen. It takes you right to the app store. You can download for free. That way we can be there for you.